How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick little video here. I'm just wrapping up a job and I actually installed some of the um, alley tram line end caps and another transition by the uh, stair rods. And I just wanted to let you guys see what they look like down. And a lot of people was having questions also about um, how the veneers would seem together if you went over four foot, which most of your vinyl plank is four foot long. So um, I actually had to seam a piece here because we went in front of a bathtub with a piece of the end cap. And I'll just let you see just how stuff, how the stuff seams together the veneer of the vinyl plank, okay? So let's turn around and take a look at the tub. So this is it right here. This is the end cap right up next to the tub. You can see, let me get back here where you can see the whole thing. So this is what it looks like here. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful transitions. And um, you can see the thing with these transitions is I use the exact same vinyl plank that I installed here and I take the veneer off of it and put the veneer right down in that. Now, um, like I said, a lot of guys was talking about, well, how does it go when you have to make a seam in it, in the veneer? For instance, this piece right here was like 56 inches or something like that. Well, I'm gonna get a good look right here at the whole trim piece. And then we will take another look. I'm gonna go slow. Okay, now I wanna see, it's just like anything else. Everything requires practice. So let me come back here and I'll show you exactly where I pieced the two pieces of veneer together at, okay? So you see that right there? Oops, right there. You absolutely will never see that. See, it's already disappeared, and I'm just like six inches from it. So you will never, ever notice that. Let me uh, go downstairs. I actually got one more piece of trim. One more piece of trim downstairs. <coughs> Take a look at it. Well, this was uh, back in the 90s here in town. They would take and put a half inch particle board in the kitchens and bathrooms and stuff. Whenever they would build the house, that way they would have, use it for an underlayment. Well, these folks here actually installed three quarter inch hardwood here in the kitchen. And then it's on top of the half inch particle board. So this is another one of the transitions. Here, I did the exact same thing. I took the veneer from the vinyl plank here and used it right here inside this. Now this is just a flat piece that would join two types of uh, vinyl plank or as in this case, I joined it from this hardwood to this vinyl plank here. It's only this piece of transition is only attached to the hardwood here. So therefore it allows expansion and movement in this vinyl plank that I just installed here. Once again, these are definitely the most classy, classiest um, transition pieces I've ever seen, ever used, ever had my hands on whatsoever, and they are not hard at all to work with. They do require a little bit of skill, but if you're used to, if you are a floor guy, you can definitely do it. They're not that bad, and they definitely scale up your flooring project, so really nice.